So, you want to know how to parent? Well, you're going to need a kid for that, but how you go about getting one is up to you. You have multiple attractive options. You have the classic way, you have the adoption way, and of course you have the way that Tarzan went. You can just find him on the beach. Hey guys, I'm Matt Bicom, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to parent objects in Blender. We're going to go ahead and take a look at, th at this because there's uh, basically just one way to do this is just a combination of hotkeys, but this is very useful for specific things and I'll go ahead and I'll teach you uh, some things that might be a little weird uh, if you're if you're not used to them with parenting. So um, let's go ahead and let's say you want to move a m multiple objects by just selecting one. So let's say you have a whole bunch of objects. You have a whole bunch of cubes like this, right? I'm going to shift D, duplicate these bad boys over. Like that, there we go, you love to see it. Let's say that I want to move all these cubes when I grab this one. So if I want to grab this one and move all these, let's hold down shift, <clears throat> select every single one of these right here, and then hold down shift, select the big one last, the one you want to select. Hit control P, set uh, parent to object, and then we can go ahead and move this big cube by hitting G, and now they all move. Cool. Something else is really useful for it is if you're doing rigs. If you're making rigs and you want to parent something together, um, you have to obviously parent the bone, the bones, the skeleton, to your uh, to your mesh, to your to your actual you know rig itself. Let's delete that real quick. Get rid of all of those. Hit delete. Um, now you can go ahead and add in a real quick. Let's add in a ba 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 a armature, and it'll create a single bone. Hit tab. And then uh, hit E, and then Z to move uh, this bone straight up. And we'll just like create three bones, I suppose. There we go. Now let's say we want to create an arm or something. Just some kind of thing we can bend. Shift A, search for a cube. And hit uh, S to scale it down. And then S, Z to scale it up, like that, right? And then we'll hit uh, G, Z to move it up. And then kind of cover up all the bones, as you can see. Now we can hit Z and go to wireframe. And you can see now we can see inside of that, which is like super nice and super easy to uh, to see through there. So that's really cool. Nice, right? Cool. So now, if we want to move this cube with these bones, first of all, like let's say this was an arm. So there'd be a joint here and there'd be a joint here because obviously this is the pivot points of both of these bones. So what we would do is we would go ahead and we have to actually create a couple of uh, loop cuts where this would bend so it like has a place to actually bend instead of just being like straightforward like this. Because um, right now there is no... There's no loop cuts, there's no lines in this at all, other than on the edges and on the, like, the pieces, so it's very weird. We, it, it won't bend properly if we don't have these bends. So hit tab with the rectangle selected, and then go to this loop cut tab, this loop cut option right here, and then click and then drag up to where you want this to bend at. So click once again, and then just drag where you want it to uh, bend at. So it'll be, that's fine right there, basically. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this a step further by going back to the select tool here. And then hitting uh, B to box select both of the loop cuts we just made. And hit Control B to bevel both of these. Now you can see it's going to kind of mess up um, because we have the all, them all selected at the same time. So we're only going to select one at the same at, at, at a time. So this loop cut down here, hit Control B. And we can scroll our mouse wheel up to create more vertices. We only need like maybe one vertice. So only scroll your mouse wheel up about one time to create th uh, three lines like this. And then we'll just go ahead and left click to confirm that. Same thing with this one up here, control B, and then we just move our mouse up like that. So now it has a little bit of a, a bending area where we have a couple of vertices and a couple of lines where we can actually bend this. So now let's go ahead and select our, uh, hold down shift, select our bones, and then uh, hold down shift, shift and, and like I said, grab our bones, um, hold, uh, control P. And then now instead of doing select, set parent to object, we need to set parent to with automatic weights. So this will put automatic weight painting on our um, on our bones, on our mesh, so that we know, and Blender knows where we want them to bend. So let's go ahead and click that. And now if we select our bones, and then change it from object mode to pose mode, you can see that I can bend these by hitting R to rotate this, and then they will all bend. And now this is successfully parented to our mesh. So we can like bend this arm like this, and have it go up. And of course we can change the weight painting um, by going to the weight, by, by selecting our mesh, going out of pose mode. Selecting our mesh and then go to weight paint and then just change like the paint here and whatnot and use these tools up here. But this isn't a weight painting uh, tutorial, so we won't get into that too 
much. But what we will do is I'll go back and we'll undo those bins that I just did there. And we'll go ahead and uh, and take a look at, uh, at one more type of thing that, that might be a little weird if you're trying to parent something together. Maybe you want to clear a parent. So maybe you want to, let's go ahead and add that cube back in. And we'll go back to solid viewport shading up here at the top. So click the second little, the second little dot. Get rid of that real quick. Don't need that. All right, cool. So um, maybe you want to unparent something. So you have two cubes here. They're parented together. Hold down shift, control P, object. You grab this one, hit G. They both move. Maybe you want to, oh, by the way, if something, so the one you select last, so if I, if I select this cube right here, hold down shift, and you see this one's or, like lighter orange, like a yellow, and this one's like a darker orange, whichever one you select last is the one that will move when you grab it. So if I were to hit control P with this, it would, and then put object, you can see that when I hit G to move this, then that one, the other cube moves. But if I grab this one and hit G, it moves by itself it doesn't move with it because this is a child of this object so think of this as like your mom or your dad you know what i mean like this is you as a kid right you're in the grocery store this is you and this is your mom or your dad right so when your mom or your dad moves around you follow them because you don't know where you're going because you're a kid you know what i mean but as a kid you can move wherever you want you know what i mean your parents not going to follow you around but you follow your parents so that's basically what this is now let's say you want to you've grown up you, you, you're 27 years old and you don't want to keep following your mom or your dad around the, the grocery store anymore. You want to go to the banana section on your own. Cool. You can do that by going ahead and, and selecting one of the objects and then hitting Alt P and then clear parent. Now you can see this, uh, it kind of shifted it down a little bit, but now you can move these separately. Let's say you want these to be in the same position. It kind of moved down as you can see. So if it control Z, it kind of moved down a little bit. Maybe you want this to be in the same exact position, but you just want them not to be connected. Alt P clear and keep a transformation now you can see it stays exactly where it was and now you can move them separately that is pretty much everything you need to know about the basics of parents and children in blender um i hope to see you guys in the next tutorial i hope you learned something new today i will see you in the next one but until then bye bye